by 2030, your boss might actually be an AI. In the next 24 months, 40% of the skills you use at work today will become completely irrelevant. Yes, you heard that right. IBM just dropped this bombshell in their latest workforce study. And honestly, that's just the beginning. While you're watching this video right now, somewhere in the world, an AI just learned how to do something that took humans years to master. But here's the twist. People who start collaborating with AI now won't just keep their jobs, they'll multiply their impact. You don't get promoted because you worked longer hours, but because you learned a few human AI skills that tripled your results. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly which skills those are, what jobs will look like in 2030, and how you can turn AI into your career's biggest multiplier, instead of your replacement. And to be honest, early adopters are already compounding their results. And by 2030, the job you're doing today might not even exist, or it could be the most valuable skill on the planet. Here's the thing nobody's telling you. The AI revolution isn't coming, it's already here. And you're either going to ride this wave or get crushed by it. In fact, what I'm about to show you might just be the biggest opportunity of your lifetime. Stick around because I'm revealing the three game-changing shifts that will define your career by 2030. And trust me, the third one? Nobody sees it coming. The AI Assistant Revolution. Let me ask you something. How many apps do you have on your phone right now? 50? 100? Well, Microsoft's CEO just said something that should make you delete half of them. He predicts that by 2027, we won't need separate apps for everything. Instead, you'll have one AI assistant that does it all. Think about that for a second. No more switching between 10 different tools at work. Your AI knows your schedule, writes your emails, analyzes your data, and even attends meetings for you. Samsung is already testing this. Their employees using AI assistants are completing projects 3x faster. But wait, if AI can do all this, what happens to us? And here comes the great job transformation. Here's where it gets really interesting. Remember when ATMs were supposed to replace all bank tellers? Funny thing, we actually have more bank tellers now than before ATMs existed. The World Economic Forum just released data showing that while AI will eliminate 85 million jobs by 2030, it's creating 97 million new ones. That's 12 million more opportunities. But here's the catch. These aren't the same jobs, not even close. Well, can you guess what the fastest growing job title was last year? AI Prompt Engineer, a job that literally didn't exist two years ago. Companies are paying $350,000 for people who know how to talk to AI. Let that sink in. The three pillars of 2030 work. First pillar, the hybrid workforce. By 2030, you won't work for a company, you'll work with an AI team. Imagine having a personal board of AI advisors, one for strategy, one for creativity, one for analysis. You become the conductor of an AI orchestra. Goldman Sachs tried this. Their traders working with AI made 40% better decisions, not because the AI was smarter, but because the combination was unstoppable. Second pillar, the skills that can't be automated. Everyone's panicking about AI taking jobs, but they're missing something crucial. MIT studied a thousand companies using AI and found something shocking. The jobs that are growing fastest are the ones that require the most human skills. Emotional intelligence, creative problem solving, ethical decision making. These aren't just buzzwords anymore. They're your job security. Think about it, would you rather get life advice from ChatGPT or a human who's actually lived through struggles? Exactly. Third pillar, the entrepreneurship explosion. This is the one nobody's talking about. By 2030, starting a business will be as easy as posting on social media. No joke. With AI handling operations, marketing, and even product development, the barriers to entrepreneurship are collapsing. A 16-year-old with an idea and an AI assistant could compete with Fortune 500 companies. We're already seeing it happen. The future of work isn't about losing, it's about shifting. Let's break it down. 
By 2030, these three shifts will completely redefine jobs. Automation of routine work. Think data entry, basic accounting, or factory line jobs. These will shrink dramatically. Machines will handle them cheaper, faster, better. The hybrid workforce. Instead of replacing humans entirely, AI will augment jobs in fields like law, medicine, design, and marketing. Picture a lawyer backed by AI that scans through millions of cases in seconds, or a doctor who diagnoses faster with an AI co-pilot. Rise of AI native careers. Jobs that don't even exist today. AI ethicist, prompt engineer, digital twin designer, and even AI empathy trainer. Yeah, you heard that right. Humans training machines to be, well, more human. Ironically, the most human qualities are becoming the most valuable. Skills like creativity, critical thinking, emotional intelligence, and adaptability. A recent McKinsey study found that more than half of current work activities could be automated by 2030 with today's technology, not even tomorrow's. Which means this isn't a far-off future. It's already knocking at the door. And every year you delay adapting, that skill gap only grows wider. So what should you really start doing now to prepare? Three things. One, keep a curious mindset and study the AI tools in your field. Two, invest in human-centered skills, creativity, empathy, leadership, things machines can't replicate. And three, stay adaptable. Because in a world moving this fast, the ability to pivot could matter more than any degree. Okay, so which jobs get hit first? The routine, repeatable stuff. Data entry, customer replies, paperwork, even first draft legal memos. Those are the first to go. But the jobs that mix judgment, context, and real human connection, those don't disappear, they evolve. Imagine a customer support rep. Instead of typing answers all day, they'll guide an AI to solve messy problems. Or a marketer. Instead of writing every single line, they'll run entire campaigns with AI as their co-pilot. So here's the new map of work. First, augmented roles. That's where humans plus AI double productivity. Picture an analyst who can summarize massive data sets instantly with AI. Second, specialist roles. These are things like prompt engineers, AI auditors, explainability experts, basically people who go deep on AI itself. And third, bridge roles. These are people who connect AI with the real world, business, policy, ethics. Now let's talk about the five skills that are basically future-proof. One, prompting an AI orchestration, knowing how to get useful, high-quality results instead of junk. Two, critical problem framing, asking the right question before you even touch the keyboard. Three, domain depth, knowing your field deeper than any tool summary. Four, Communication and storytelling, taking AI outputs and turning them into decisions people trust. And five, ethics and systems thinking, spotting bias, gaps, and making sure AI is used responsibly. By 2030, AI will diagnose diseases before you even feel symptoms. But doctors aren't disappearing. They're becoming health strategists, focusing on prevention and human connection. AI tutors will give every kid personalized learning at the level of a private school. But teachers, they become mentors, coaches, life guides, the human stuff that actually matters. Here's my favorite example. In Japan, there's a sushi restaurant where AI robots make perfect sushi every time. But it's the human chef who decides what's perfect. He programs the AI with his 30 years of expertise. The AI makes it accessible to everyone. That's the future. Human wisdom, AI execution. Here's your action plan. Start today. Pick one AI tool, just one. Master it completely, whether it's ChatGPT, MidJourney, or Claude. Become the person everyone asks for help with it. Build your uniqueness. What do you know that AI doesn't? What life experiences do you have that can't be downloaded? That's your superpower. Double down on it. Network like crazy. In an AI world, relationships become everything. The person who knows people, who can build teams, who can inspire, that person becomes irreplaceable. Stanford research shows that people who start adapting to AI now 
will earn 3x more than those who wait until 2030. The gap is already forming. I'm worried, quite frankly. We're living through the biggest economic transformation since the Industrial Revolution, and most people are scrolling TikTok like nothing's happening. The companies that ignored the internet in 1995, most of them don't exist anymore. The same thing is happening right now with AI, except 10 times faster. But you, you're watching this. You're already ahead of 90% of people who are still debating whether AI is just hype. Remember Blockbuster? They could have bought Netflix for $50 million. They laughed it <laughs> off. Now Netflix is worth $240 billion, and Blockbuster is a meme. Right now, every single one of us is standing at our own blockbuster Netflix moment. The question isn't whether AI will change everything, it's whether you'll be the disruptor or the disrupted. The future of work isn't about competing with AI. It's about becoming so uniquely human that AI makes you unstoppable. And that journey? It starts with your next click. Here's the good news. You don't need permission, you just need a plan. Because 10 years from now, you won't remember the jobs that vanished. You'll remember how boldly you adapted to the ones that appeared. Right now, companies are embedding AI across their systems. Those who move early, they'll lead. The rest, well, they'll be busy catching up. The future of work isn't about, will AI take my job? It's about, am I ready to take the opportunity AI is creating for me? AI will not take your job. It'll take the boring tasks you hate and reward the humans who can make sense of what's left. Remember, the future belongs not to those who fear machines, but to those who master them, to those who prepare for it today. And today, my friend, is your day one.